Hey everyone, welcome to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. Today is the day one of Power BI series. In today's session, we will be learning about what is Power BI and why do we need it. So before we move on with our live session, please subscribe to our channel. And also, if you want upcoming updates, please hit the bell icon and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. Introduction of Power BI. So, what is Power BI? Well, Power BI is nothing but a again a tool which is used to attain business intelligence, guys. So, it is a business analytics solution that lets you visualize your data, share insights across your organization, in your inside your teams, outside your teams. You know, in in fact, even to a different organization as well. And then later, whatever graphs visualizations you have put out from your data, you can uh, put it in an application. You can put it on a website. And uh, show them and use them later as well, guys. So basically, it allows you to connect hundreds and hundreds of data sources and bring your data to life with live dashboarding and reports, guys. So basically, this is what you can see, right? So you have certain numbers which might not make sense, but then at the end of the day, if you convert numbers to these beautifully looking graphs and visualizations, then that has so much impact for a non-technical person, for a person who's uh, from a business domain or let's say in a board of directors meeting as well, because at the end of the day, visualizations and images attract the human. Uh, 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 consensus pretty much you know uh, 3000 times faster than numbers is what uh, it's what, something that I read last year so on that note why do you have to use Power BI in particular it's an offering from Microsoft as you guys might know it and Power BI is again a giant in the world of business intelligence guys so the first reason of why you should use Power BI is to help you make informed decisions very quickly guys and not just informed decisions not informed in just any simple way you're gonna have all the details you're gonna know your data in and out with respect to visualizations with respect to what your data is doing why it is acting the way it is and what is the outcome and how good or bad is the outcome guys so all of these will help the company you know in terms of the associate level all the way till the director uh, you know cto ceo levels and to help them basically take a uh, very good decision and do this very quickly as well guys so this brings us to the next reason of why you should consider power bi power bi is basically you know uh, this one tool with so many features that it pretty much you know help you connect your uh, data connect your models uh, it'll help you model the data that you're connecting and then pretty much you know you can explore your data you can create all of these very good looking uh, visualizations visual reports basically and then you can talk to your multiple teams about it you can talk to just one team design a team a business intelligence team sales team you can have all of these guys collaborate pitch in on what they want to see at the end of the day and then publish it to them and eventually share it to all your board members or uh, other members of the teams as well guys so this brings us to the next reason of why you should consider uh, power bi especially this particular reason guys because uh, you know uh, there's a statement which i read it, it says that power bi uh, uh, pretty much is again one of the most well faring uh, bi tools in the world today and uh, i think this reason pretty much uh, this uh, reason of why you should use bi actually connects to that uh, uh, basically what we are trying to say here is that you know you can take data from hundreds of sources like i just said and no matter where your data lives power bi has the ability to connect it and pull it and pretty much give you visualizations based on that as well guys and not just any visualization you can have stunningly amazing looking interactive visualizations which will catch a lot of attention of a lot of people as well guys so you know then uh, there's an other reason which is again very good as a company collaboration is a foundation right so all your reports which will get published among your teams all your dashboards which will get published among your teams basically all of you guys together will come uh, you know share insights about what's going on all of you will have an idea of how your business is doing and this will help you understand your business inside out thoroughly guys so what that further does is pretty much you know that will help you take uh, uh, you know, uh, your desk to wherever you go because at the end of the day Power BI apps can talk to any of the apps basically built by Microsoft and all of these will give you very good seamless access to insights whenever you want, uh, you know, at your home, at your office or if you're on the move as well guys. So this brings us to the actual process of how Power BI works. Well guys. Uh, to simplify it, I'm going to take it very slow uh, since the uh, the intent here is to uh, make the uh, 
all of the audience from the uh, you know beginner level to the advanced level understand this so i'm going to be a little slow here and i hope you guys catch on to what i'm saying so this is how power bi works basically in the chain guys so there are there are uh, you know pretty much five major steps of how it works step one is data connection next we have data transformation we have data modeling we have data visualization and data reporting as well guys so coming to the first step which is data connection as i've already told you you can talk to hundreds of uh, hundreds of resources at the same time and get power bi to pretty much pull all the data from any let's say twitter facebook uh, it can be any uh, big data solutions hadoop uh you know hive pig any of these guys can talk to uh, power bi and get the data into your uh, system where it can be processed and worked on and the best part in my opinion about the data connection part of power bi is that it is extremely simple to import data into power bi or let's say you want to upload a custom file on your own and you just don't want to pull data from anywhere else guys microsoft power bi's interface is so simple it actually makes it very easy even for a beginner to get started on this guys so coming to data transformation which is second which is the second step basically so after data loading what the data needs to be done at this point of time your data will be very unruly it will be very shabby it will be very raw there's a good chance it will not be structured as well so basically we do this step which is called as pre processing and pre processing the literal term is data shaping or data transformation as well so in this pre processing we do a lot of changes and transformation in the data so that the next steps becomes uh, you know very easy and uh, maintains very good accuracy as well so you know processing how is it done well basically we can do a lot of changes to the data that's present you know you can rename your columns you can rename your tables you can change the type of data so you can convert text to numbers numbers to text you can modify the rows modify the columns modify the data with each and every cell in the two dimensional matrix of data that you see and much much more guys so data transformation plays a very vital role as a second step uh, into achieving very good visualization and this brings us right to the third step uh, which is data modeling our uh, data modeling again is a very important step because data modeling will help you enhance your data in a way where you know when you're doing visualization you do not pick up on any outliers or you do not pick up on any data which will basically hurt your visualizations and decrease the accuracy of your model so to do that we need to enhance our data we need to make sure that the data is extremely efficient it is extremely you know to the point uh where when we go ahead and graph it out it looks perfect guys so basically how is this done well data can be enhanced by doing a lot of things guys uh you know you can do a lot of calculations on the data you can have some hierarchies you can map your data one to other you can uh, have give relations to your data you can have certain set of measures where uh, you know you're pretty much asking your data uh, to stay in a certain set of limits you can have you can build a uh, certain relationships among a couple of rows couple of columns and much much more guys so the data is enhanced basically to make it more efficient to the next step which is data visualization this is the heart of power bi because this is where uh, pretty much your data goes from looking like numbers or something on a spreadsheet to graphs guys and not just any graphs those are beautiful looking visualization as i'll just show it to you in a moment but then this is a very important step because you will not just have access to one or two types of graphs uh, graphs sorry uh, you'll have a variety you'll have a plethora of visualization types where you know you can go on to use it based on your personal requirement guys so this will feel like a tailor made requirement to any company who require uh, business intelligence and then since they offer uh, loads and loads of tools for us it is actually one of the main reasons why power bi will give you these attractive looking amazing and beautiful reports guys so this brings us to the biggest advantage basically is that you know just a quick info guys intellipad provides power bi online certification training in partnership with microsoft mentored by industry experts the course link is given in the description below now let's continue with the session uh let's say you guys might have questions in the comment section basically which is you might not have any coding experience but then is power bi for you as well guys know that the advantage of power bi is that you know even a person who is an mba who's a business guy who has never written a single line of code in his life can whip up can come up with extremely good analytics uh using power bi guys and then this is a very very high paying job as well the average salary is very high and then if 
you can think about being in the information technology sector without writing code then business intelligence could be one of your ways to actually you know amassing a lot of wealth and at the same time enjoying your job because for me personally i love seeing visualizations as the output of power bi guys and this brings us to the next step which is basically data reporting by data reporting basically what we try to do is power bi comes up with a lot of services there is much more than what meets the eye in terms of microsoft services any services of course and then these basically are uh, dashboards are used to create reports these reports can be physically created they can be put on a website they can be published and exported in a very secure manner as well so it is not that you create a couple of graphs and you know, anyone can access those graphs guys so these this, these are done under very high encryption and uh, you can export it and publish it and much much more as well guys so coming to another important point of data reporting is that you know uh, it is not a manual task in fact uh, power bi supports automatic data refresh uh, which can be set up uh, once and then uh, left as is and what this does is this will give you almost real time analytics of trends and results so it will update itself on its own and you do not have to have a human there intervening putting in the new results you know putting in new visualizations and whatnot guys so it supports an automatic data refresh uh, and this in my opinion is a very good advantage of a business intelligence tools guys so this brings us to the key features of business intelligence uh, I want to tell you guys to head to the comment section and let me know if you are very keen about Power BI, what your opinion is about Power BI and in case you do know anything about or you have worked on it, then guys keep the comment section very interactive as we at Andalipad love it and you as learners love it even more as well guys. So anyway, coming back to the presentation, key features of Power BI, the first most important feature that I could think of was the usage of artificial intelligence guys. So basically you you can do any sort of text analytics you can do any sort of image recognition by using power bi as well and then this is done basically you know uh, by uh, teaching machines to do uh, stuff on their own what we basically call as machine learning if you guys uh, do not know the term but then for the people who do then we use a lot of machine learning models uh, you know uh, which has the capability to automatically learn and integrate with their entire cloud platform which is basically azure microsoft azure platform and then there's something called azure machine learning Learning as well and then power bi has the ability it is ready and it talks to azure machine learning in a way where at the end of the day even machine learning's goal is to achieve artificial intelligence so with the help of visualizations uh, you know future predictions trend analysis and much much more guys so the next key feature is something called as hybrid deployment support because you know uh, power bi comes with these so called connectors uh, and these connectors will you know uh, allow power bi tools to connect with again a number of different data sources again as i have been stressing because it is extremely important in a world which generates terabytes worth of data every single hour yes you heard it right every single hour there are terabytes and terabytes worth of data throughout the world and then knowing that you can probably use it and and connect to it very easily and pull the data through is very simple and doable in terms of uh, power bi guys so you can have the data coming from any microsoft's platform from salesforce which is a very good crm tool and many many other vendors as well guys and this brings us to the next key feature which is getting quick insights out of your data uh, well one of the most important thing that you need to know is your data might be large and you might not have to visualize it all at once so uh, having very uh, good interest in getting quick insights basically allows you know the users to create let's say a smaller chunks of data or subsets of data and then what you can further do is you can apply analytics to those small amounts of information rather than the entire thing because you do not want the entire thing and you want a part of it so again power bi has the capability and uh, very easily so to in fact do this as well guys and then the next thing is something called as data model support and uh, data model support is basically you know we're going to use a lot of data again as i've been mentioning and making sure your data schemas are understood by the model uh you know supporting a plethora of tools again requires uh, a lot of uh, variety of data which can be read and understood in terms of the point of development of power bi so you know 
you will have lot of entities lot of attributes lot of relationships basically giving you this entire data schema where uh, you know one common model can talk to the uh, can talk to a large group of uh, uh, data connectors and data inhibitors guys so basically you know some ways you want the data some places you don't want the data that is what uh, inhibitors actually mean so uh, where you know what data you need to pick up from and what data you should not pick up uh, data model support will do just that and the next thing in my opinion, opinion is something really nice and i have personally used this as well guys so it's basically microsoft's nlp natural language processing and microsoft's uh, uh virtual agent which is cortana so i'm sure many of you guys might have used cortana if you're windows users or uh, you use it elsewhere as well so this is actually extremely popular on mo on mobile devices and this will allow you to basically talk to your computer and verbally you can ask your computer you can ask cortana uh you know uh, uh using a certain set of queries as we call it and then cortana will give you all of those results and you do, do, do not, i mean you do not have to type it out manually guys so uh, cortana is a beautiful uh, digital assistant by microsoft and it's it is completely supported and talks really nicely to power bi and it makes our task of typing and verbally querying data out uh, impossible and uh, this basically uh, uh, you know i i know 60 or 70% of the users who talk uh, to their computer when they're doing business intelligence and uh, personally they're actually you know going about telling their queries out to the computer so that Cortana can hear it convert it into text and actually execute that query guys so this brings us to the next thing which is the most important key feature uh, when it comes to Power BI it is the customizations thousands and thousands of different types of visualizations different types of reporting aspects hundreds of variables that it can look at at the same time guys you can import any new tool which is from the entire Microsoft so a domain and this will basically help you change the appearance of anything that you look at on a visualization screen and this, this can be only done uh, uh, by the creativeness and uh, the thinking the thought process which went into designing power bi guys in fact here is a dashboard so this is a power bi dashboard and this is what it would look like on a phone and a laptop as well guys so you have lots and lots of data you have graphs you have a map uh, you know you have heat maps and then you can track each and everything that you can think of and in fact uh, to the uninitiated people who might have not done sales uh, it will track everything that you might have never thought of before as well guys so it is extremely intelligent on its own and with all of these insights that you've never had before this will give you a clarity throughout your product throughout your domain your hold in this world of products like no other guys in fact here is another dashboard which is basically from the retail sector of you know it's basically another sales dashboard and this is done somewhere in the uh in, in, the, in the part of the united states of america and then you can get the you can get details such as how much products you sold per square feet of that particular city guys per square feet uh think about that and then you know you can get the total sales what is the sales per square feet again as i told you what was this year sales how many stores got opened uh total sales this particular year sales what's the target how far away from the target how to achieve that target pretty much guys everything that you can think of you can achieve in terms of the power bi dashboard again here is another very good uh, looking dashboard guys so uh, this is again uh, something related to uh, the number of times and requests this website outage and so much more but then uh, again let me quickly head back you can see the difference in between these particular uh, dashboards and how unique uh, you know each of them look guys so this get this can be catered to the business's needs and this can be designed to look as beautiful as it can and with all the data that you particularly need uh, in your organization guys so that brings me to my final thoughts guys so this is one really good quote about statistics which i really like it says uh, uh it is easy to lie with statistics but it is extremely hard to tell the truth without it this is by a person named andres dunkels and i absolutely love this quote guys again uh, you need to know that uh, having a power bi job is one of the most trending jobs one of the most high paying jobs in the world today and particularly in the next decade guys just a quick info guys IntelliPad provides Power BI online certification training in partnership with Microsoft, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below. So guys, we have come to the end of our session. I hope you all enjoyed it. For any questions that you have related to coding, 
you can mention it in the comment sections below so thank you so much for attending this session and meet you in another session Thank you.